Have you ever wondered how winter whites are different from the other species of hamster? Well, today I'm gonna to be sharing 10 fun facts about winter white hamsters, but before we get started, I wanted to show you these sweet little pups. These are Coffee and Venti's pups. They are about, I wanna say four weeks old now, if I can remember correctly. So they are currently living together because they are sisters and they will live together for the next two to three weeks before they go to their new homes. I'm gonna give you a close up of them. It's so funny to me. I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but um, this one right here, she is literally 10 grams more than this little baby right here. I have no idea why. I don't know if she's getting more food than this one or if she just loves food more. But every time I look at the enclosure, this one is running on the wheel and this one is not, which is so funny. Look at this. I just thought I'd show you this. This is Pebbles Pup and literally she looks identical to Pebble. Oh my goodness. It's literally crazy. But what I wanted to show you is that this pup is only three, I think, or four days older than the pups I just showed you. And she is also much, much larger than the other pups. So it's just so cool to see their growth and how quickly they change day by day. It's insane. They look so different the next day. Even if I check on them in the morning and compared to the evening, they grow so so much so it's so cool okay bye time to get into the video so I thought I would start off with one of the coolest fun facts first so fact number one when it comes to winter white hamsters a lot of people don't know that winter whites only come in two colors and two patterns and so for example here is Frappuccino oh, in his cuteness this is actually a pattern most people view a winter white as being a white hamster however what Frappuccino's coat is is actually a pattern on top of a color so I'm gonna put Frappuccino back and then I'm gonna go ahead and break it down for you. The two colors are sapphire and normal. Normal just simply means the wild color, so like the color you would most likely find in the wild, and it's the dominant gene. However, the second color is sapphire, so those are the color of the hamsters I showed you in the very beginning of this video, and that's the recessive gene. And so those two colors then are underneath the other two patterns. So the two patterns that you can have in a winter white hamster is a marbled pattern or a pearl pattern. So what you just saw with Frappuccino is Frappuccino is a pearl pattern. So that means his pearl coat is either on top of the normal color or the sapphire color. I hope that makes sense. And then the marbled pattern is a lot easier to tell which color is underneath it because it's a literal marbled pattern. So it can either be a marbled normal pattern or it can be a marbled sapphire pattern. Fact number two, winter white hamsters do not have a different fur type. They don't have a different type of fur. So um, Syrians, I believe, can come in long hair, short hair, as well as some sort of like curly texture. I don't know the proper terminology when it comes to Syrian hamsters at all, but winter whites simply just have one fur type and there's no way to breed them to get a different type of hair. Winter white should only have black colored eyes so they are not going to have red eyes if they do then it is most likely a hybrid or is another species of hamster three winter white hamsters are actually more awake during the day than any of the domesticated hamster species my winter white hamsters are actually awake during the day very frequently I am not exactly sure why this is but it has been observed in the past and is something that I can absolutely go to say is very very much true in my experience um, my husband made the most hilarious joke the other day he's like now that they've multiplied so much um, every time you come upstairs there's a more likely of a chance that one of them's awake which is very true fact number four winter white hamsters go into heat every four days and when winter white hamsters the females go into heat you can actually smell it and it's not a gross potent smell it's actually very sweet and so whenever I pick up a hamster and I'm holding her I can like literally just smell that something's just a little sweeter like you can tell the regular smell is just a little off it's literally crazy so the other day one of my friends came over and I picked up one of the hamsters to show her and then I could smell so I sniffed her and she's like what are you doing and I was like I'm pretty sure this hamster is in heat and so I checked by lightly um, petting the back of their bum and then you can see they lift up their bum a little bit and so therefore you know that they are most likely in heat fact number five they just keep interrupting me today. Oh my goodness. My goodness. Oh my. 
I don't know if you guys can hear that in the camera, but anyways, fact number five, female winter white hamsters can actually prefer a different male when they're in heat. I've run into this m multiple times on occasion where I can tell that a female is in heat, but then when I put her with a male, she starts to attack him. So I of course have to separate them immediately. I have like a Tupperware pretty much right next to me and then I'll, I'll put the Tupperware on top of one of the hamsters so they're not able to fight each other when I'm trying to introduce them to see if they'll mate for me that evening. And so when I do that and they, however, when I know they're in heat and they're fighting another male, I give it a second try. I find a different male in the hamstery and I introduce the two of them and it blows my mind how there are very much oftentimes a female will prefer a different male. Isn't that so fascinating? So many of the hamsters are awake right now, it's unreal. Cinnamon latte's over here drinking water, we got Pebble over here. Everybody's awake right now. <laughs> fact number six. I think we're on fact number six. Fact number six is that winter white hamsters get their name for the fact that they turn white in the winter. I'm sure all of you have heard that before, but here's something you might not know. Winter whites turn white not because of the fact that it gets colder outside and because of the temperature, but it's actually due to the light cycle. So it's very possible that your winter white hamster is not turning into its winter coat because of the artificial light light that we have in our homes. I've heard that some hamstries keep their lights on in their hamstery from a certain time to a certain time to replicate the summer light hours. That way their bodies will think that they're in their breeding season and they may not turn into their winter coat. Fun fact number seven, winter white hamsters have fuzzy, fuzzy paws. If you've ever owned a Syrian hamster or a Chinese dwarf hamster, you'll know that their feet look a little bit more like a mouse like there is not fur completely consuming the bottom part of their paw. However, winter white hamsters' paws are completely fuzzy all the way around. It is the literal cutest thing and I am obsessed with it. However, it's actually because in the wild it would help them keep their paws and their feet warm if they were exposed to extreme temperatures. I forget what fact we're on so I'm just gonna say next fact <laughs> is winter white hamsters only have one scent gland so Syrian hamsters have two on the sides of their hips that kind of look like patches or potentially a scab if you never knew it was there but winter white hamsters have one and it's directly in the center of their tummy kind of resembling a belly button you can tell between a female and a male hamster that the male's scent gland is more prominent than the female hamster scent gland and often can get kind of crusty sometimes and it's often important when doing health checks on your male winter white hamsters to use a little cotton pad and clean it off with some warm water. Another fun fact about winter white hamsters is that they give birth literally on the 18th day. It is not uncommon for a winter white hamster to go into labor in the morning and to begin birthing the pups in the morning or to be finishing up their labor in the morning. The last fun fact I'm going to share today is that, and I'm sure this is the case for other species, but specifically I'm going to speak for winter whites. Winter white pups are born with placentas and it was so fascinating. Like two months ago, um, Coffee's pups were were born with their placentas attached, which of course all animals and humans hamsters and humans are as well. However, um, the mom within the first 24 hours is supposed to handle the placenta by um, biting it and disconnecting it from where the scent gland is and then eating and consuming the placenta. However, um, Coffee had six pups and I found one of the pups under a different hide after she had given birth and she had either forgotten to collect that pup or potentially she had decided she was going to reject the pup. I'm not sure. However, when I found the pup, I thought the pup was dead because it had this like reddish, bloodyish looking thing attached to it that was on its t tummy. So I thought that she had maybe killed the pup, but then when I looked closer, I noticed that it was this little small circle of a red placenta that was then connected to the scent gland area on the winter white pup with this tiny, tiny, tiny string-like cord. The mom will deal with it within the first 24 hours, and if it doesn't, then that's something that you need to, you know, handle and deal with. And so I put the pup back with the mom. The mom received the pup, but when I went to check on the pups later that night to see if I needed to handle the placenta issue, 
I noticed all of the other hamster pups had their placenta still attached. And some of the umbilical cords were wrapped around each other and some of the hamsters so that when you lifted up the hamster pups, it was like a cluster of hamster pups because they were all wound up in each other's umbilical cords. So the mom wasn't able to get but it was so fascinating from that morning to that evening the biblical cord started to dry up and so i just gently pulled it off of the belly button area and voila the placenta was removed but i just thought that was so fascinating at how cool is god and so thankful that the pups were all okay and that concludes our video about fun facts about winter white hamsters I'm so sorry. I promise you all the, all the hamsters are okay. The hamster siblings, a lot of them are together right now before they go to their forever homes. And so they like to do this to play. That's They make that squeaking noise and it sounds horrifying like they're in trouble, but they're okay. You know they're in trouble if hamsters grab onto each other like tummy to tummy and then they'll roll around like a ball. That is not okay. You have to separate them immediately. If you're interested in learning more about different things that we use around the hamstery, I have this video where I share my top 10 Amazon hamster finds and I think you'd really love it. I'll see you over there.